God damn, we're fucking live, dude. We're live. It's Flash been a while since we've been in the studio. I know, man. It's crazy. I mean, dude, I don't even know. Where were we? Where was I? Oh, yeah, I was here last week. It was fucking Oh, crazy. yeah. Yeah, the week before that, it was, it was a blur, dude. Whew, it's, it's all crazy, a blur. Bro. You've been yeah. on the move, man. I have. It's been a lot. Yeah. A lot of traveling. Yeah, man. I had to hold down the fort last week. I, I appreciate boys. it. I was at the Mall it. of America again. Oh. It actually was pretty good this time. Was it really? Yeah, I did. I thought it sucked last time because it, it was sick. September in a pandemic. Or uh, in the pan- so like it yeah, was dude. pretty empty, and I was like, "This sucks." And then this time it was it was full. The shots of it looked so cool it as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Good. I thought when you described it to me, I'm thinking like I, when I think of bad comedy places, I can conjure up some like very hellish scenes. Yeah. So I was I was like drumming up some scenes. And I saw the no, no, no. It's, it's, yeah, rules. it's good. Nah, yeah, you're in the pandemic. I, made a I was I was like genuinely Yo, went back to the TGI Fridays though. The, the, the TGI Fridays? The Mall of America TGI Fridays. Where you held it down? Held it down. Put This time, I had to defend my honor. Did I you? played Dragula 12. You actually, you played it this time. I had time. to. I was like, I have to do it. I have to re- redeem myself from <laughs> Dragula. <laughs> I stole tail. Dragula, Valor. <laughs> <laughs> I said it to you on the phone once, and I just broke my heart that I fibbed. It happens, I didn't dude. play Dragula the first time. Someone else did. Yeah, but dude, would he have this represented? Time, would oh, he, have he represented. represented the, the click was strong that night. There was like five of us spread out. That, and that was during the, the middle of the pandemic. September, right? September twentieth. When you would tell me about doing those shows at first, I'd be like, "That's crazy." I was imagining yeah. everyone just like masked up and like just like four people in a room. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, yeah. Most of the places were fine, but Dragula, when it was like me and five dudes spread out in a TGI Fridays on like a Thursday yeah. in Minnesota, just traveling. Everybody business, at their man, own dude. table, just getting. Beers this tall, oh, getting fucking fuck. trash. Someone's playing Dragula. So I played it, I'd say, four straight times. You played it four straight I times? I got the, yeah. I played it f- maybe five straight. Were you going up and doing it? Or were you hitting from No, I was in the distance. I was sniping. <laughs> you were sniping from your And phone. then finally a guy, one of the, like, the fourth, no one noticed. I was like, no one notices. So then what finally. Was the, what was the scene? How many people were there? A lot. Oh, it was packed. TGI Fridays is where all the the industry, all the service industry, goes to hang out afterwards. Really? So all the fine ass bitches are in there. Damn! All the waitresses. All the all the serving girls. People of color waitresses were in there. Really? Fine ass people of color. Damn. Yes, and they were. They were. You know, it was party time. Yeah, of course. All these fucking. People of color, and uh, <laughs> doesn't that sound worse? It's way the same worse. Black people. There's so many fucking colored people in there. There's so many people of colored skin. It's like, dude, what? Yeah, I like to describe people on their skin yeah. immediately. Uh, but the first couple waves of Dragula, no one noticed the waves. Are, but I overdid it on the touch. I played it too many times in a row. Yeah, you got green. So finally, uh, this guy was sitting with his girlfriend. He was like from us to the stoners, yeah. and. I saw him perk his head up <laughs> when Dragula came on again. And I was like, yo, you like Dragula? And he was like, is that you playing this? <laughs> like, And I was like, no. Who was this dude? Just a random guy on a date. He was like, I, and then he was like, I had a long day of work. I don't like it that much. Damn. <laughs> he heard it like six times. That Were the and original five Were the original five there? Uh, the men you? probably. Were you the only surviving member of the No, they were probably five? there. I just couldn't see. They blended in. <laughs> also, it was Eid. Eid Mubarak, my friend. And... Minnesota is packed with Somalis. So TGI Fridays was bumping with Somalis, yes, dude. Muslims, people of color, Muslim people of color. It was a melting pot, dude. It was a melting pot. And Dragula was bringing us together. Yes. And, and then some Dina. dickhead on his date. some white fuck was oh, like, fucker. who's playing Dragula? Trying to control everything. Trying to control loser, Everyone's of vibing to Dragula, dude. Everybody was vibing. I mean, viral videos are probably dudes all, like, dancing to Dragula. Like, dude, this just is hot shit. young women of color dancing to dig through the ditches and burn. <laughs> I was just, I was, it was a fucking vibe. It was so vibey. Dude, the vibe was so and good. And then. Uh, some white fucking asshole, And then some dude. white fucking Fuck! devil was like, who's playing that? And I was like, do you like it? <laughs> Friend? And he was like, is that you? And I was like, no. <laughs> he was like, it's definitely you. I was like, well, it's not. What was his date And saying? then. 
She probably wanted yeah. to fuck you. Well, she was covering her head. Yeah, it was a scene. And then uh, I made. I didn't realize I had played it like three more times. How many? It was more, loaded up. How many more? So times? after I like fought somebody, I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just kept that intro is so funny to hear that like weird. <laughs> I forget. I don't even know what noise that is. And then uh, <laughs> how's the intro go? Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. The beginning of Dragula is like. I gotta find. Uh, no, no, before the guitar. It's like a weird, like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Hold on. Let's let's actually just, let's get the. Uh... Yeah, you need to paint a picture here. Think of this. Muslims. Women of color. <laughs> TGI Fridays. <laughs> now think of a dude going like this. <laughs> She's like, God damn it, I just want to enjoy my burger. <laughs> so then here's what I was doing. Dude. Yeah. This so just then, gets spooky as hell. It's out of so spooky. Dude. And then what you gotta do when you a lot of guys think they're good with the touch tunes, dragon what you gotta do oh. is you gotta get the people going. So you gotta sure. to toss in like a remix to ignition. For sure. Or like a I'm real remix. Yeah. A lot of remixes. Yeah, definitely. But once you put on a song that everybody loves. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all like, attention. woo, they all start dancing and yeah. having so fun. You're DJing and then you hit a Dragula. You bring them back in with a fucking Dragula. <laughs> I'm a counterpuncher on the so touch. You're DJing tunes. this party. I, yeah, I DJed the TGI Fridays. And then people started to. You like, might be DJI Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> DJI Fridays. DJI Fridays, dude. That's a pretty sick name. <laughs> so, yeah, I was DJing it. And we went out with two, me and my lady went out with two fans after the show. Nice. Two lucky fellows. Yeah, and dude. then they got to witness me and my lady getting a fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, you're done talking? We're not talking for the rest of the was night? Was this after Dragula? <laughs> this is, I mean, during Dragula. There was oh no, there was no after. I left with about four Dragulas in the chamber. <laughs> So yeah, if you listen to this and Dude, the you manager have, has to reset it with the key. If there's the, too many dragulas lined up, the manager has to come has out to of the back out, yeah. and like undo a, the, the waitress key. was upset. Our waitress was upset. <laughs> Why? Because she was like, "Is that you?" Doing that? <laughs> 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 and uh, oh fuck! Yeah, it was nice to get a domestic in front of two fans. Oh, and they had a two there dudes like, were like, "This is a cool night. We get to go out after the show." And then I was just like, "Oh, you when you want to not talk? What happened? What are you mad at?" <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Oh, fuck. Good Damn, night. Damn, dude. Yeah, and then you just call the hotel and they pick you up in a bus. What? It's great. <laughs> I don't know why I was complaining. You might be Small Dragula, America dude. rules, dude. I was Dragula. You, you just call Dragula. the hotel. You're like, all right, I'm done at TGI Fridays. <laughs> and they bring a shuttle to pick you up. A huge shuttle? Yeah. A huge. Yeah, it's the sickest move. You get blacked out. Yeah. Leave TGI Fridays in a bus. Fuck. You're like, who was that guy? Damn. Yes, that fucking rules. That's as, yes. that's as good of a weekend as you. That can was have. a victory. How did you guys make amends on the bus? Yeah, we made amends because she started trying to give the guy directions, and I was like, oh boy. "Ain't that a woman?" It was a it was a person of color How bus driver. Like, he was a drive. male person of color. I don't want to assume, and but I think he had a fucking dick and nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hate to assume he had a cock, but he, I think he did. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, me and him had a good laugh. Really? Yeah, she she I broke down. She that came around. Icy queen. She yeah. was trying to silent treatment. She was like, ah, don't you go this way? And I was just like, the guy drives a fucking bus. He only goes He's, from This here is to the there. only place he goes. Yeah. You don't think he knows? Oh. It was great. Brittany used to do that to me. I'll be like driving to my parents' house and she'd never been there before. Like, I think we're going the wrong way. And I'm like, dude, you grew up like six hour flight. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah. It's like a I guess it's like a six hour drive. You're going to tell me how to get to my parents' house from the place I've been living for 15 years? It's not a then male. Then I make one wrong term. I'm like, fuck! Yeah, fucking the GPS. Yeah, I'm yeah. big on the Google Maps. Google Maps destroys bays and dads. Oh, dads hate the Google Maps. Kills them, dude. My dad gives me directions oh. every, every day. Their directions are even worse than MapQuest. Remember you yeah, had to print yeah, out yeah, the yeah, MapQuest and be like, do we turn... This road, you know, you'd have to like mentally gauge 0. 0.8 yeah, miles, yeah, yeah. and you're like, I don't know, dude. I think we passed it. Dad, dad, directions are, I mean, it's just like gas stations that aren't there anymore. Oh, you're God. like, dude, no, there's a gas, there's, there's a shell or there's a sicko. It's down there, and you make the left over there. What you're gonna want to do is take a right down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, and as soon as you're like, I'll just pull up my phone. No, 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 no. Like, listen, listen. Here, I'm gonna tell you how to get there. It's like, just give me the address. I don't know the address. It's like, fuck. 
Yeah. It was that a must good have been trip. crazy navigating with maps. I thought about that because I go to a wedding this weekend. What, like, take, taking a literal map out? Yeah. yeah I, when I was little, I used to have to hold the map for my dad. Yeah, I remember I was that. Like, we had an atlas. Yeah, he'd be like, what, what street are we on? I'm like, I have no fucking clue, dude. Right? Atlas? That's what I'm looking was for, Was it right? Road Atlas? Yeah, Road Atlas. Yeah, it was pretty tight. I had to pull it out and just be like, he'd be like, what street are we on? I'm like, I don't You'd know. You'd have to like flip through like Missouri, Montana, yeah. Mississippi. <laughs> like, we're it's in like, Pennsylvania. Dude, I don't know. This is a bunch of little lines, yeah. dude. That's a sick weekend, though. It was. It flew back. The guy on the flight in front of me was watching or was playing uh, Total War, my game. I've what? never even seen it in public. How do you play? I was fuming. I was so jealous. I didn't bring my laptop. How was he playing on the flight? He had his laptop. Oh, with Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just... Damn. Were you peeping I was it? peeping in between the seats. Were you? <laughs> <laughs> just watching how he played it. Well, would you get any new? Like, what'd you think? He was all right. Was he? He was all right. He was playing medieval too. It's a pretty sick game. Ooh. Yeah. But he was France. I saw what he I saw the map. He went from the Iberian Peninsula. He was running into the Holy Roman Empire. What? <sighs> yeah. I mean, you give me the shivers. You're like, Ooh. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh careful. Yeah, it was a good trip. Damn, that's awesome. Nice trip. Hell yeah. That's what's up, man. Oh, we were before the podcast, we were talking about the offensive lineman in the intro is Quentin Nelson. Yep. How Elite. crazy is that? I just picked your favorite offensive lineman. It's crazy. Just blindly. It's, it is crazy. Crazy. And then people were like, somebody was like, somebody DM me was like, yo, is that you? Yeah. I was like, yeah, definitely. Obviously. I played for the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best offensive lineman in the NFL. <laughs> uh, but he's a jacked man. Look him up. He's a handsome fella. And we, were, we What do you think he would do to you? Matt asked me what his, what do you think his top sexual move was? Well, he's like a, um, he's the ultimate bear. He is. He's a bear. I mean, he's a grizzly. He's like a big. He's like a dude who's so big. He's hot by default. Yeah. So he could have any face. And, and he's like, not like bodybuilder, no. retarded jacked where they look. He's bear. Insane. He's like. He's bear jacked. Yes. Oh God, what that guy would do to you. I mean, we were. I was. I was more curious of like how he makes love to a woman. You kind of like flipped. I did it on. switch it to what he could which, do to me. Which he could. That's the thing. That's also true. And he could do one of those things where they hold you up. He could. Back, hold, he yeah. put his hands onto the back of my knees. And hold me in the air. He could me. hold you like that and grip you by your buttocks. He could each. He would palm each of your butt cheeks and just fucking level you, dude. What? <laughs> you know what, I'm saying? He, what? He's physically capable of that. He's absolutely no physically capable of holding you up and just fucking just by yeah. each cheek and just. I think I would be a hard rape for a lot of people, but he's one of the few. That's I'm not just, assuming he's raping you. I'm assuming I it's would, consensual. Uh, there's no choice. <laughs> there's literally zero choice. Uh, that was so. I would be dude. a tough. You think he'd be a tough rape? We're just talking to a man to man rape here, but like getting yes. raped by a standing. We're talking about the kind of rape you can joke about. Exactly. Male on male rape. The very funny kind. The funniest kind. Dude, of him, imagine that had to happen to a dude who's like, "Stop, put me down." The guy's. Oh, guy in air getting raped. Hammering him. <laughs> <laughs> raped in air. I mean, technically, there has to have been a bunch of midgets that have been raped throughout history. Oh yeah. You think you would hold? You think you'd yeah. do like an air doggy or just like the. <sighs> Air doggy. Air doggy's tough, dude. <laughs> Air doggy. Because they're not going to bend in half. If you hold a midget like that, they're not going to fold. The yeah, percent of gravity is perfect. They just, just, yeah. they just lay perfectly like a 90 degree angle. <laughs> you just, <laughs> just air doggy them, dude. <laughs> All right. We'll change topics. <laughs> My bad. I just think it's funny to imagine what Q would do to us. Quentin Whew. Nelson, dude. Sick he could nickname. fuck us both. Sick nickname these he days. Would hold me with, he would hold me with one arm. And he would just take you out. And I would have to the whole time watch. No, he could bear hug next. both of us. He'd be like Goro. You think he could stack us? Yes. He'd be stack bottom. He could stack us and hold us. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I would get into it. I would sixty nine you. I'd be underneath. I'd be watching. You start the, fucking with me. I'd watch the penetration. <laughs> <True. in front. laughs> just trying to catch any drops I could get. <laughs> True. I'd probably lick his sweat and stuff. <sighs> Quentin Nelson. We'd both be front row at the next game. Be like, dude, go Colts. Let's go. go Colts. <laughs> That'd be our settlement. <laughs> How do you think the thing would go down from like us? He'd probably elicit us for a massage. Like, oh, you think he'd hit us with massage. the Watson? Yeah, he hit us with the small towel or movie, <laughs> yeah. dude. I don't know. That's I, what that's what uh, Sandusky was doing. He was hooking. He was quieting the kids with some fucking uh, box seats and shit. Was he really? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. I got to hit a – I was at a wedding on oh, yeah. Saturday. It was yeah. a blast. But they um I believe the bride was from Penn State and then I think one of my cousins went to Penn State. So he was he started doing the Penn State stuff and I just got up real quick between him and his girlfriend. Maybe she went, I don't know. 
du- just crop dusted him with a Sandusky uh, Joe New right by them. Wow. Got him my table. Joe New walked right back to my table. Nice. Pretty fun. That's they, the- they hate that. He laughed. He had a good. He all right, good. Yeah, he Frankie. fake laughed. Frankie had a good. Oh, all right, Frankie all right, laughed. All right, all right, all right. But I walked by Joe New right by him. Joe did know. He did. He knew so, all about. I had, it. I had to settle that down. I couldn't have that on my side of the wedding. I was like, no, no, no. That's nah. Penn State weddings. Good God. We oh. are Penn State. Pedophiles. We are. Yeah, you guys. Rape, we rape are kids. complicit in horrible crimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost as bad as a West Virginia wedding. You ever go to one of those? No. People that went to WVU. Not what they, they, they sing country roads. They really? all get together in a circle, lock arms, and sing country roads. Isn't that the name of the song? A Johnny Denver? Possibly. Yeah. I've never I've never Take got me home. This wasn't like a full on I I've I've met couples who were like full on like blue and white type like blue and white party type things. This was like a small uprising. This was like a this was a couple oh, people. Okay. And only I, a know, couple. I had to just stifle what I could on my side. Yeah. I couldn't cover the whole ground. I could have grabbed. I should have grabbed the mic and be like, just, just to throw this out there, guys. You yeah, know, we should be. We should. Yeah, you should have ripped the mic. Moment of silence. And be like, DJ, play it. There's a band. Dragula comes. Oh up. fuck, dude. <sighs> cool down the party, dude. I had a, uh, I had a wild night, man. I went. So I, I go to this wedding, and uh, remember I told you when I did the five grams, I like was like the idea of dancing. I was like, I'm just gonna dance anywhere. I yeah, like, whatever. So Which is gay. Not you on your say part. Say that. You say that? No, no it's dude, fine. You, dude, you can totally. I'm not criticizing you. I'm sorry, that no, came you, out wrong. No, dude, yes. I, I, no, it's, you're, you're perfectly right to, Thank to assert you. that. That's how my the elders of my family are. Like you, there. That's yeah, the whole you gotta time. You got to learn from your elders, dude. No, dude, no, you can't you be dancing. You're a man, dude. That's wrong. You see, dancing's for ladies. No, it's not, dude. It is. It's not. It's for men, dude. Who? Ladies, right? I was, and I'm, so here, I'll give you the full scoop. So I'm sitting there, and I go, I'm gonna not really drink. I'm gonna see if I can just go enjoy myself. Hit the dance floor, but and this is you know again I'm not perfect. I take two microdose capsules, take two microdose capsules, and then I pig out on the vape pen a little, <laughs> and then I so I, I and that's it. I'm I'm like you know I'm I'm you know I'm having a good time. I, I watched the ceremony, and it was I was sitting there the whole time like the I guess it was like the maid of honor starts talking about like like just how like she started bringing up like moon stuff and how like we're on like a planet and I'm just sitting there. Oh, just you were like, probably like. Oh, this fucking... I'm Slay like, knows what the fuck she's talking exactly. about. I'm, Now's the time to talk moon stuff. That's what I'm sitting there. I'm like, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. She's like yeah. talking about the planet and like the gravitational pull between people. And I'm like, that's a theory I've had. Yes, go on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting there. I'm enjoying myself. I'm having a good old time, dude. I'm sitting there enjoying myself during the ceremony. It was like, the place was beautiful too. We're just like in North Jersey. And uh, so I'm sitting there being like, dude, we sh- everyone here should be like, mo- a wedding where like most of the people were on mushrooms is I think the way you should do it. Cause I'm telling you, dude, I'm watching. Like this is awesome. So nah, booze. Ah, dude, a wedding so, booze, bro. You can have still have the ask booze. Jesus, bro. You can still have ask the Jesus booze. what he would want. He just booze, that, that's bro. All he had. Nah, you dude, don't dude, think Jesus could conjure up some muscles? Well, he also, obviously, you know the, the chrism he blessed people with was obviously laced with cannabis. But no, yes, it was, dude. <laughs> no, they found they know for sure. <laughs> I'm sitting there, dude. I'm I'm just vi- I'm vibing so hard. I'm like, man, this rules. Like this is so much to me. I'm like, this is so much better than drinking. I don't have to like sit there and get like hammered. I just took my two little microdose capsules. I'm having fun. So we go inside and uh, this place was like over the top, like high scale. Wet. Like we walk in. Dagos? Yes. Yeah. Dude, all, first of all, they eat like pigs. <laughs> Italians eat like fucking pigs, dude. They eat like pigs. I come in. So I come in from the, the ceremony. Beautiful ceremony. What I a come lovely in, ceremony. I got lovely ceremony. These wop pigs. It's, it's like fucking pigs. I walk upstairs <laughs> and there's one station. It's just lobster. It's like like lobster tails cascading down an ice sculpture. It's like shrimp. And then a whole station of people cutting up calamari. It was awesome. Damn. Dude, there were six other stations. I, I just saw that and was like, this is, you know, for a cocktail hour, this is amazing. So I started eating like scallops and shit. And then they're like, you know, there's like five other stations. Dude, there's steak, bacon, sausage. Sushi, lo mein. It was it was wow. crazy. So I'm walking around just feasting, dude, eating yeah. all this stuff. Again, noticing like Italians eat like pigs. Start thinking about early COVID stuff, and I'm like, so it's like, how did Italy get hit so hard? It's like you should see how they eat. <laughs> <laughs> They're pigs, dude. They are. This was the most piggish display. Again, I just wanted to be polite, so I obviously joined in and ate as much as you humanly feasted. possible. Yeah, yes. I, you know, I wanted to be polite, so I, you know, I had like. A lot of bacon. I was just like ripping. I would go back and forth at these tables, just eating sausage, eating. I I'll just ate meat. Been there. Yeah, dude. It was sick. Every man. wedding. It was so the good. Fucking, those fucking people walking around with the 
Dude, appetizers. They, didn't even have them. they can't even get away from me. Dude, this was like I a follow. This was like a, a, a like a five station buffet that you could just and like there was no line because there's so many different options. So I just kept just hitting the. Dude, there was these long shrimps on sticks that. Oh, dude, it was crazy. Yeah, I'd have a tough time there. I pigged. I pigged. Yeah. I, you know, again, you know, when in Rome. So went among the Italians. That. Yeah, yeah, went among the Italians, dude. Yes. You know, I didn't want to shame them with like my austere yes. Irish diet. I could have went there and ate like a small bit of mashed potatoes and a small piece of shitty meat. Yeah. And like and one got or two green beans. Out, hammered and laid <laughs> yeah. on the ground. <laughs> but I was like, let me, you know, let me honor these people by enjoying their sumptuous feast. So. A pig out. That's why Italian women get fat as hell. Yeah, dude. When they get older. Yeah. Become blimps. They, 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 the, it's there. It's waiting to happen. Some don't. <laughs> Some don't. But Rarely. Yeah, they can't. Most of the time, they become fat blimps. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame them, dude. No, how They're could They're getting they? force fed. They're getting the fucking fine gravy every night? Every, every Sunday, bro. Fine gravy, long dinners, dude. The wine is like, to not have wine is unthinkable. So I got I got a little taste. I, got, I was like, you know, it's pretty cool. So uh, by this time, I I decided. I said, you know what? I'm having a good time. Yeah. Let's let's eat a weed gummy. Ooh. What the heck? What the heck, yeah. dude? I'm you know I'm having a good time. I'm not really drinking much. I'll eat a weed gummy, dude. I forgot when you're on even if you're on, if you're on a little bit of psilocybin, it really heightens the effects of weed. Oh no, dude. This thing, fucking long story short, dude. I get done pigging out. This weed gummy kicks in on me, and I'm like. I was I was like fucked up. Dude. Yeah, I was pretty fucked up. Not like you know I was cool. I was holding it down, but like I catch I would like catch myself just like staring. It's because I was I was like analyzing my family, being like because everyone started getting drunk, and I'm like, yeah, I saw Billy had a couple cocktails. Silly Billy. Yeah. Oh, Billy was Billy was White Claw Billy to the I fullest. I saw old White Claw Billy. So I'm watching White Claw Billy. I'm watching him and my cousin Joey were out on a mission, dude, trying to get ass, dude. It was oh, so God, fucking funny. Sad, dude. Dude, I mean, they're just they're the two boys. bros. They're two bros. They're two lone bros. So they're out there, dude, trying to get ass. And I'm like sitting there like every now and again, one of my cousins would just be staring at me because I would just be like this for like two minutes. Like, <laughs> and I looked up to like my cousin from across the table just being like, I look at them like, what up? And they'd be like, I'm like, all right. Yeah. So how, how well do you know that cousin? Pretty well. They like, probably you know. think you're. Oh, my whole, that's, that was what I, that's what my paranoia was starting to base around that my family thought I was like a, a drug freak. Yeah. Because I would like, you know, and Brittany had a couple pops. So like she was like starting to fade on me a little. So I, I, that was my main thing. I was like, are we too fucked up for this wedding? And I was like, fuck, dude. Really? Fuck, we failed as a couple, dude. We were oh. fucking retarded. And then like, I was like, shit. And then, you know, again, I like, but I would like oscillate between that and be like, nah, dude, you're totally cool. I have been too fucked up for several weddings. Yeah, but. You don't know. That's the thing, but when you I when rolled you, an ankle at a wedding, <laughs> <laughs> fell down in the front yard. That's the difference between <laughs> drinking and doing like you know light true uh, hallucinogens at a point. And I, dude, I th I might toss that out as the uh, the challenge of this summer, hallucinogenic wedding challenge. Dude, it's so fucking fun. It, it I was a blast again. There no. was a tinge with little bits of paranoia, but dude, I would sit there and like there's analyze. nothing better than a wedding drunk dude. getting. Fucked hitting up at a dance, wedding, hitting the dance floor on a weed gummy and some mushrooms. This, That's this when you got to take a bus back to the hotel with everybody. True, you get on one of those. I dipped. No, I, we, we took we took one there. It was everyone yeah. was saying I smelled like weed and being like, "What the fuck?" And I was like, "Well, oh, it's weed." But I, I, I was like, "I don't care <laughs> it's about because that. I'm high." But I, I also thought it was somewhat of a false flag because I didn't. I only had a vape pen on me, so I think someone was just trying to conjure up the beef on me. That'd probably be Bill. It wasn't Bill? Not. It that sounds Bill. like a. Although I did have weed gummy, so they might have stunk on me. I don't know. But people, dude, people were on my ass from the beginning of really? this thing. Really? Get off bit. my fucking back. People, no, I was, I was chilling, dude. The whole time, I'm like, hey, man, you know, it's no big deal. The hell off my back. I'm not high. I'm fucking chilling. I'm not that high. I'm microdosing. <laughs> you can't explain this to people. They'd be like, yeah. what? I'm just taking a little bit of mushrooms. I took a creative dose, <laughs> and I'm dancing with my family. So, yeah, you hit the dance floor. Dude, so I'm sitting there. I'm with Bay, and I'm like, fuck, man, we're falling apart. We got to turn this thing we're around. We got to turn around and say, Bay, dance floor, let's go. We hit the dance floor, dude. So I started, you know, I'm just doing my little stuff. And out of nowhere, she come, Bay comes alive. Bring her to the dance floor. She just fucking, lights come on. It's time for the percolator. Dude, she goes, yeah, exactly. She goes, look, here's all you got to do. When the dr Here's the secret to dancing. When the drums hit, just hit your feet as the drums hit, like you're playing the drums with your feet. Dude, it hit me like a revelation. I was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, I remember just telling her, I'm like, did you just give me the black secret? And I was like, I like fully understood what rhythm Person was. Color secret. So, excuse me. It's POC secret. The BIPOC. The POC secret, dude. The BIPOC secret. <laughs> <laughs> now I was like, I, it was so funny to me because I, I, for the longest time, would just be like, <laughs> just like, yeah. da, 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 da. and I'm like, 
oh, that's all you got to do. Just match your feet. To, I'm like, that's what rhythm is. Dude, the whole thing was like a, a revelation. I'm like, that's what rhythm is? Mm. You're just moving in sync to the, the music, like in like, but specifically with the drums. I was like. You should come out to Hot for Teacher. See how that works. Oh, I easily no, follow the beginning. Bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> easily, easily, dude. Come out, chop your feet. Dude, so we're out there. Sick. I just start, I have this like new, I have this profound revelation where I'm like, this is how rhythm works. I'm having a blast, dude. I'm, yeah, I'm you're high. Dancing my ass off. <laughs> you're high. I was on a creative yeah, dose. I could see music. I was on a creative <laughs> dose, dude. I was on a creative <laughs> dose. I'm just fucking. You're high off your ass. Dancing yeah. like a damn idiot. Having so much fucking fun, dude. I was having a blast. Yeah, I mean, that is fun. And then, um, Oh, it was so fun. And then like the it all gets crowded and then uh so I, I had to take a break. I got like two I was having so much fun that I almost was like, dude, take a breather. So I went to the bathroom, gave myself a little mirror talk, and then the whole thing flipped back around where I'm like, You're good to go. And just went out wow. there. She went and sat down. She's like, Go out and dance like Billy was out there dancing with my mom strictly because he was trying to like let girls see him and get ass. Oh god. Silly dude, silly Billy was in full effect. Oh, that's so sad. I didn't he he sent me a video of mm-hmm. You and him and his mom dancing. He knew what he was doing. I did not know. It was any of big. my any of my female cousins or like cousins' wives, like, oh, that's so sweet what Billy's doing. I'm like, he's trying to get ass, and they're like, oh, come on. He told me it was for a sweet reason. You trying? What did he say? He was like, my dad didn't want to dance, so I was like, mom, I'll dance with you. Like, and that's true. That is true. That is true. But you're right that it was definitely he was laying a trap. That was a, that was bait. Yeah, was he's using my mom's pussy bait, dude. You can't use your mom as pussy bait. I mean, dude, you can't. I mean, again, it's a wedding. These guys, him and Joey, are hard stags. Joey at one point took off his belt and started doing limbo on the dance floor. These guys were getting after it, dude, trying to get ass. So any means necessary. Yeah. Well. So I'm sitting there with a. Uh, I'm sitting there with Britt, and she's like, "Look, I'm gonna chill out. Like, just go back out there and go have fun with like Billy and your family." And I was like, "I'm not gonna go out there by myself." And then I was like, "Yeah, I probably should, dude. I just danced by myself the entire night. It was so Damn. fun. It was so fun. Your cousins definitely think you are like." I had so much fun. Special needs. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Like, I think Matt's getting... Dude, I just rose up Matt's against... in trouble. The elders of the family, <laughs> dude. Out of your table. The elders of the family. <laughs> you went out and danced by yourself. <laughs> dude, dude. With my newfound moves, dude. Fucking yeah. step You got some junk. good moves, though. I'll give you that. Dude, you thought I did. And I thought I... I, I always thought I kind of stunk. But, dude, now that I'm equipped with... The, my next challenge, I got to go to a BIPOC wedding. I do want you to know, the time in Chicago when you danced at that person of color circus... Yes. <laughs> Universal Circus, <laughs> yes. Uh, and they picked you out of the audience to dance. Which was racist, yes. It was the white man. They, they tried said, to, this they, will be funny. They tried to clown on you. They did. And then the crowd went crazy when you d hit the moves. Yeah. Have you ever seen a video of a autistic kid at a high school in a dance-off? And the crowd goes, uh, oh, uh, no matter yeah, what they do. true. I am afraid that that could have been what happened to you. No, I killed it. I killed it, dude. Well, that's exactly what the autistic kid at the high school thought. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be careful because it could have been that. Now, I saw the moves, Hold on, but I think I also might be my in your work, friend my group. My footwork was nasty, dude. Footwork was I was nasty. a little uptight That's first. always the, the, the autistic kids when they get in the dance. They fucking swing their so, feet so around. So I hit a couple of those. At the, I hit a couple of those. Uh, uh, uh. Like I hit a couple of DDRs. Yeah. I hit a couple of Dance Dance Revolution moves at the wedding. That's the people, that's when, <laughs> and that's when people would be like, all right, dude, that's enough of you. Too bad there weren't any Asians there. They were like, holy oh, shit, this God. guy's good. That was like a 100,000 point combo, dude. Dude, but, yeah, I, I do want you to know. I should have picked up on it before. Oh, man, that's but true. But like the autistic kid in the dance circle yeah. at the black school, the person of color school, mm -hmm. he has a couple white boys that he's friends with that are true. also nerds. Yeah. So when the crowd goes nuts, they're like, this guy's killing it. This guy's killing it. They don't know. Here's this is this is the fundamental. The universe Soul Circus might have. No, I dude, I killed it. I I'm telling you because when I wasn't killing, I know you it, still have laughing. the footage. I'm gonna have to review it. Please do, please and we review. might need to put it in the intro if it's not too bad. Oh, please, yeah, no, if for it's sure. not too bad, hundred percent. I would hate to put that on you. I'm 100%. sorry, I just did that. No, please put that out. Okay, there. I'm actually that's so that's some of my early dance part of like my dance portfolio. And that's could you early make stuff. it in the intro a montage of autistic kids dancing in dance yes, circles? Please. No, that would be sick, massive. dude. Here's the fun. And I do think there is a difference. I it's just the theory I have. here's the thing here's the fun here's the fundamental mind switch mind switch <laughs> it's total doesn't matter of course it doesn't. When, no it's, it, it, dude, it exactly. does not matter when i was there it was like all of the grumpiness and weirdness i would do and i would sit there and be like why does she want to make me dance i don't want to dance yeah i'm like i'm just gonna get out there and not even for myself just add to the vibe of the party and i did yeah that's big it. time might have freaked out of my you know my family might be taught might be like, oh, i start out as a grumpus i start out like, I, I don't get like pouty 
I'm just like, I'm not fucking dancing. And it's not a big deal. Go dance. Yeah. I'm going to get hammered. And then I get hammered and I'm like, oh, what am I doing? I should get out there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the standard move. Yeah. Which again, that rules too. Coming in, dude, I'm Once I hear you, shout, I'm sitting there, I'm like, I got to get my, out there. Mine's my, Montel Jordan. This is how we do it. That fucking rip! I See, fly out of my seat. That's like a, a good. Vampire. That's a good bait song for Dragula. Next time you get the touch tunes, yeah. toss that on. Yeah, everybody will start dancing. Then fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Something's happening. Damn, I don't know what it is. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, tight though. The rest of the night was very fun. Dancing with silly Billy, watching Billy out there having fun. Love seeing Billy have fun. Me up. Brother Kevin got out there. Really? Classic stiff McGriff, dude. Got he out is there. A he stiff was McGriff. Tin man, dude. <laughs> he was tin man. <laughs> he was moving, dude. I'm telling you, I was, dude, I was vibing so hard. It was rubbing off on the whole floor. That makes sense. At one point, it was, the funniest part was they started, I hate my family does this. They started doing like a circle thing. Oh, yeah. Every family does it. Pigged it's out so right in the middle to an apps. Like everyone, someone, obviously the bride came in. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the couple, like, yeah, yeah. I busted some moves. To, I bombed in the circle. And then this was like, Got out and was like, not a big deal, dude. Oh, not a big I've deal. Been, were the brothers excited to tell you you bombed? Did anybody tell you? No, no. I just, I right. just kept it pushing. Well, that's a good sign. Dude, I'm telling you. It's, if you're self-aware of bombs dancing. And just, I was like, back out. Let's get back out there, dude. Yeah, take I'm equipped with the rhythm, dude. My two steps on t- unstoppable right now. <laughs> my Here's my challenge for myself. <laughs> don't, don't, the BIPOC don't do wedding. any dance challenge. No, I am. The BIPOC <laughs> no, wedding. I am. The BIPOC wedding I'm going to, I believe, in July. <laughs> No microdoses. I'm going to try to do it stone sober and go out there and just dance my ass off. I promise that's impossible. That's what I think. I, that's I, Dude, I, it's been keeping me up at but night. But impossible is nothing, dude. You could sober dance at a BIPOC wedding. I'm, I'll be like prob- probably the only white dude. Definitely. I'm going to go out there, dude, and <laughs> stone sober. Equip- Definitely the only white dude dancing by himself. True. If you go, oh, dude, Brittany, what if there's a circle? I'll join into it, dude. I'll get to do what I got to do. Get into the circle. Perhaps more of a train, but maybe a circle too. Might be more of a two-line structure. I don't know if the, I don't know if the circle's gonna happen. True. There's not much of a circle there because everybody like the circles. Usually, it's a it's kind of like a let's say a wider defense mechanism to be like oh, you suck out and you're like no I'm I'm participating but then you're just like you go do it and then you kind of yeah. watch. Dude, you go to a black wedding. It's the, the opposite. You're fucking gay if you don't dance. People mm. are like, what's? They'll come up and be like, you okay? Yeah. You, but there, there are. It's funny because there are black people who aren't good at dancing and they, they kind of like. Just do the, they lean back. They just lean back or they'll sit. I mean, yeah, they could, they could just sit there, you know, just lean act back. like they had that thing on them. Like, I, you know, I would dance, but I got a fucking gun. Yeah, I can't. I brought I'm a gun to this party. Drop this it. and have a discharge and kill someone here. <laughs> <laughs> but it is funny seeing the black dudes who like kind of stink at it and they'll, they will kind of like stand off and, you know, there's the whole, you know, it's a big deal. But yeah, dude, that's my personal. And again, I could, if you just take a microdose or two, like a, like a little like 0.2, 0.3 dose and go dance on, or go just to a wedding, it's fun, dude. Dude, I can't. It's so fun. I cannot. Because it's, it's. I can on mushrooms. It's a mushrooms mental, would be fun. It's a mental shift, dude. When you yeah. take yourself out of the equation, you're just yeah. like, I'm just a being serving the fucking, this function of this party. And like my personal outcomes are relevant. Such a mindset change, dude. I had so much fun. We left I, early. Though. I believe you. We oh, got out. What we the got hell? Out early. Well. Bay was tired and they didn't know it wasn't Send over. Send her to bed. It wasn't over till twelve thirty. She offered. She was like, "I'll go." And I said, "Bay, that's a trap." Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not gonna fight you tomorrow because yeah. of this. I said, "Let's go." Or no, in no, an no, hour no. when you text and say, yeah. "When are you coming home?" Yeah. No, I, I, I was, you know, I'd had enough. I also, this was the other thing too, dude. This was the possibly the weirdest part of the whole thing. So I'm sitting there. I'm at the table between little like you know, bouts on the floor. Did Spud go? No, he wasn't there, <sighs> dude. I would like to see him dancing. He tears it up. <laughs> Spud hits the floor. Spud doesn't stop, dude. He goes hard as fuck. Really? Yeah. Oh man. Spud hits the floor like just like a little kid and just hits it hard as fuck. Why do you say that? He it's just pure joy. Oh, okay. I remember seeing him one time at a wedding and it's just absolute pure joy. He has a he has a good time. I can imagine him at the McCusker things dancing on a table like the Hobbits. <laughs> and everyone's standing around with like mead. And he's up there. <laughs> Spud, I love you. He's I know he's listening to that. I'm not there's he actually he, he actually is pumped about Hobbit Dome, actually. Yeah. Hobbit's rule. True. The um <laughs> sorry, Spot. <Spock. laughs> feel bad. I don't want to. They all feel bad. He's you know his feelings. I know right now him. he's painting and he just put his brush down and went, What the fuck? You think he went out for coffee? Right now. He slapped the brush. He just heard these slapped words. Slapped the brush against put his the brush can. Down. I was like, what the fuck's his problem? Fuck him. True. Yeah, well. That's a beef, dude. Me and Spud are now beef. beefing. You guys are fuck beef. you, Spud. <laughs> I know you're listening to this. Piece of shit. Dude, so I'm sitting there. 
I'm at the wedding and I'm like, you know, again, I'm like, there was parts where I was kind of like sitting there like, like that weed gummy fucking took me by storm, man. That was the thing that like turned it into kind of a, a somewhat kind of like dubious situation. And, uh, <laughs> so I'm sitting there and like, dude, out of the corner of my eye, I see this dude and I could have sworn he was looking at me like, what the he's giving you, he's me mugging you. No, here's the thing. So I'm sitting there and I go, I look, and I look back and I'm like, the guy's just like staring at nothing. And I go, holy shit, dude. Like, does my mind lightly hallucinate judgment all the time like i'm like what the fuck's that guy? i'm like i'll like see this is this was like a, a weird thing I, I kind of experienced while i was there i was like i think i mildly hallucinate in my waking hours like judgmental looks and stuff that just don't exist my mind just projects them out onto people and then i just sat there being like I gotta in your the, waking I gotta hours floor. yeah like like apparently and i've read about this before but like people will like minorly hallucinate little things that like just didn't happen at all uh, like you'll read like a sign you could have sworn it said something else and you look at it again you're like well my mind just literally projected yeah. something on there so i think i was like i think i do that a lot well i think i think that's probably if i had to guess just a hunt like that's how your mind works yeah like exactly. every, you're tr interpreting every single person's face towards yeah, you exactly so it probably gets them wrong and exactly. then sometimes when you're nuts it's just totally wrong all the time yeah but like, like what are you looking you know at? how you fill in like you know like when you look at that thing where it's like the is it a candle or is it two faces that kind yeah. of thing and really it's neither it's just this blob that you kind of assign it's shit to, yeah it's just a bunch of bullshit yeah so i think like that's what they kind of talk about i caught it out of the corner of my eye and my mind was like put in the picture of a guy this being like huh, and i looked and they just wasn't even looking at me and i was like how often do i hallucinate judgment in <laughs> hours? oh man i gotta hit the floor <laughs> i bet he was looking at you <laughs> he was definitely looking at you like damn this guy's high as fuck and he saw you like <laughs> i do this when i get too high i'm like start rubbing my chest i'm like <sighs> I had to go home. I was in down in Tampa way. You Tampa? Somebody, I ate a weed edible somebody gave me. Yeah, I was, dude. I was crushing beers, crushing the brewskis, chilling, having a good time. A dude was a EMT and he, or a surgeon, I think, and he was telling me about just horrific stories. <laughs> just horrific, like <laughs> terrible injuries and surgeries and shit. And then the weed edibles hit, and I was just like, I started doing this. I was like. <laughs> was, as soon as i realized i was doing this like while talking like a guy was talking yeah. to me and i was like, <laughs> I, was like oh, I have to go home i was like i gotta go home right now put yourself to bed yeah and everyone, the, the, a bunch of the people were like no stay and then the manager came out and was like no he should leave <laughs> he's got a show tomorrow he's got to leave right now and i was like thank you how strong was it I don't know. I think I could have sworn she said 10 milligrams, dude, which is nothing. That's my beef. So I got these things I got, I got out and I was out in Chicago. For but it was enough party. that I was just like, I have to leave. That's dude. So I got these things from Chicago um, when I was out for my sister-in-law's graduation party. They're, the, it's legal out there. So I went and got a bunch of weed gummies, flew back with them. You can't stop me. <laughs> and the uh, dude, they say they're fucking 10 milligrams. I'll like eat half of them. And again, you know, being on a microdose ramps them up. But even the one day... I ate one when I was uh, in Chicago for the graduation party. Dude, I was stuck. And I was like, these have to have more. Yeah. Stop me right in my tracks, dude. Yeah. I was like sauteing. True. I got these edibles out of like a lady's truck in Tampa. Dude. She, they tried to give me a joint and I was like, nah, I don't, I, yeah. I'm not going to smoke. And she was like, I have some edibles. And I was like, yeah, I'll, fuck, yeah, I'll have I'll one. one of those. I just got it out of like a lady's glove compartment. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> it was probably like 150. I was just like, <laughs> this package says 100, but I, I always thought it's 100 total. So it's like, and they're okay. definitely not 100, but they're supposed to be 10 a piece. Yeah. Dude, these things were like fucking knocking my socks off. And then that's when I, when I had the half of one at a wedding, I was like, oh, you had half. Dude. Still rocked you? Pluto, bro. <laughs> I was just sitting there like, what the, f like, but what happens too is when you mix them, because it's like a jelly mixture. Yeah. So you pour in like if you're using Yeah, like, I've had some of your gummies. Exactly. So you're using like yeah, a every once in a while you hit a landmine. <laughs> exactly. Because like, oh, no. it, it's like water and oil. And then if you're using distillate, obviously it's a little different, but a lot of times like you're just mixing sludge. So like yeah. there's nothing stopping it if, if it's distillate or if it's like a, a coconut oil, it's going to concentrate in certain areas. So some, yeah, sometimes you eat one, it's a dud. Sometimes you eat one, you go... This is like four Yeah, one. this is a major problem. This is a fucking yeah. major one. So Do you I remember how Mecky used to he used to crush those crush things? Crush them, man. That's fucking weird. Well, here's the thing. A lot of times, you know, some people... R.I.P. Mecky. R.I.P. Mecky. Former remember? friend. <laughs> <laughs> remember how... Um, man, I miss my dogs, dude. Man, dude. What's he been up to? I don't know. What? I don't talk to him. Why? Because he abandoned me. Hit him up, dude. He There's, left me. There's no time for that. Hit him Try. up. I hit him up. He doesn't answer sometimes. Really? What the fuck, Mecky? 
dude. We used to be dogs, dude. What the hell I'm are beefing you doing? with Maxter. Yeah. I'm beefing with Spot. Tough beef. Obviously, right you guys now. are beefing right now. I did. Look, I fired first, but I'm going to keep the fucking foot keep on strong, the pedal. Keep dude. a strong <laughs> defense, dude. <laughs> that was another thing I started laughing at recently is when I go for walks, how much I'll pretend to argue with people in my head constantly. Oh, yeah. It's a fucking problem. It is. I'll like walk by a person, think what they might be thinking about, like in terms of like, especially with the mask shit. I'll walk by a person, see them, like, even if they even, if I think they're thinking a thing about me, I'll walk for a block and a half and be like, and then if they were to turn around and say this, I'd be like, yeah, dude, well, fuck you then. I'm like, yeah. it got physical. I, and, I, and I'm like, I'll catch myself being like, dude, you're out on a relaxing walk. Why are you fighting with yeah, people? Yeah, that's head, how it always ends. Psychopath. Soder had a funny joke about how he gets in shower fights. Like, every time yep. he's in the shower, he, like, battles one of his friends. <laughs> and then he's like, this is how low self-esteem I have. I lose. <laughs> he gets in shower arguments. He's like, you know what? You have a good point. I'm going to work on that. <laughs> yeah, man. That's yeah. a... That's a tough one. I, I That's been something I've been paying attention to a lot. Like, how when I see a person... Like, whenever you see a stranger, especially... You, it's just like you have this like mental, not explosion, but like it just sets it, it sets yeah. off a physical. If it's a girl, sets off a certain physical reaction. Your penis, your penis, and your fucking even your heartbeat, and then you really? yeah. If you see yeah, a hot chick, your heart, your heart, heart speeds up, heart starts beating. Yeah, it speeds like, up. Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Go, 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 get some pussy, get some pussy. <laughs> you see a certain type. If I see a dude who's like taller than me and well put together, I'm like, what a dick. Yeah. Instantly, you're like, what what's this his guy? fucking what's problem? What's his fucking problem? What's he doing? And how he show day, me up in front of the pussy? Yeah. What the fuck's his problem, dude? There's pussy here. It's Tuesday afternoon. Everyone should be wearing basketball what shorts. Six five? Yeah. What the fuck? That is true, though, about everyone where it should be wearing basketball. Yeah, shorts. man. Come on, man. What the yeah. fuck do you think I got going yeah. on? But it's like, dude, I like, I'm it like, disgusts me when people, men, stop dressing up. Outfits, bro. Outfits, dude. And then, but this is how my brain Can works. Can you imagine an outfit? I mean, dude, uh, unless it matches, if it perfectly. Noah looks good. Dude. Noah, you look like a damn fool. Noah, Noah, let the people be the judge. I'm saying. Oh, we're cutting to the Trump flag camera. <laughs> no, I'm saying go right there. <laughs> oh, going right. There's a Trump flag over there. You my, can't my see brother, it. My brother put it up. It. My brother put it up. It's his house. It's not funny. We and Shane wanted a gay flag. We, dude, give, give you, you don't want to do this. You don't want to do this to yourself. <laughs> crouch down. Take a nice give squat in front, center, in front of it. Show them your bolo. Squat like the native. They. <laughs> this is the type of foolishness we have. Dude, so Noah actually told me an interesting story, dude. He, uh, <laughs> that's I'm excited for people to see. That. He went to a party. Noah dressed like that to a party. You went to a damn His party. His mom like scolded him. Oh, good. Your yeah. mom was like, "Why are you dressed like a damn story. asshole?" Tell us, I went to my uh, my grandma's birthday party. <laughs> it was the polo, tie. the polo, dude. That's out of respect. And I got that's hammered. actually pretty tight. <laughs> I was drinking gin and tonics. <laughs> so, and also, he wore you wore a uh, Hawaiian shirt with a bolo tie. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't a Hawaiian. It was it was like a like 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 that Hawaiian tie. Yeah, uh, pale blue. Uh, Red and like lime green stripes, vertical stripes. <laughs> and, uh, Your mom must have just been devastated. Oh, uh, my mom. Oh, she my must mom, have just been like. My mom didn't go, what? but she's. I walked out and saw her before I left, and uh, she said, "You're you know, like a slut leaving the house." <laughs> she, <laughs> she's like, "Where are you going wearing that?" <laughs> she said, "She said, you know, if you went out with me, you wouldn't be dressed like that." <laughs> and I said, "I think I look sharp," and she said, "You don't look sharp at all." <laughs> well, that's actually well, a good response for you. No, I like that. Yeah, it is. I it, think I look sharp. His dad I don't think goes, I think his I dad's like, you look fucking your good. Dad thought yeah, you looked I, sharp. I walked yeah. in the truck. Is your dad <laughs> a fucking all... idiot also? <laughs> <laughs> my dad went, I like what you got. I don't know yeah. that. Pretty sick bolo tie, son. <laughs> Dude, bolo with a short sleeve dress shirt. You might end up getting your dick sucked at your grandma's party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fully on board with the bolo. Dude. I do think it looks cool. I take back my criticism i apologize thank you i think it looks like that's what i'm does. talking about dude when dude dude should have to get pussy off shit like that that's a, you got two horse you got twin horses on the top of bro that? hand painted hand painted twin oh, horses on the top damn dude damn i might get one of those led belts that like says something like i'm the best or something do you ever see those <laughs> Just sag real hard. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out how to make FUBU four retards by retards. <laughs> <laughs> About the bolo tie, but I couldn't. <laughs> Some retard hand painted two horses. Oh, <laughs> Another retard picked it up and was like, it's pretty sharp. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say that word, and we're going to retire it soon. True. This is our last couple of months saying it, all right? We're sorry. We're True. growing. Once Biden dies in office and Kamala takes <laughs> yeah, that'll over. That'll probably be next episode. Dude. Yeah, probably. <laughs> What's coming. the boy up to? He's. I, I'll tell you what he's doing. He's given out $300 for every child under six years old Duh. to every parent. Wait. Under 150 
No strings? Under 150K a month? Yes. He just, here you go. The whole government, yes. $300 a month for every child. So he's starting a summer of a UBI. <sighs> kind of, except it's based on cheering. Just for having, it's rewarding having children and making less money. Huh. I know that's kind of how welfare works, but yeah. I think we're going to run into a lot of people being like, I'm not going to work. Oh, yeah. And that's, that's trouble. I know yeah. these sound like conservative values, but it also could be reality. What if, if the society was underpinned by like a lot of people not trying to be productive at yeah, all? Yeah, and then everybody's talking about like inflation and yeah, seems like kind of the worst thing to do if we're facing inflation is just keep printing money and sending it to yeah I everybody. Mean, yeah, I'll be curious to see what Maybe happens. It's time for now. This isn't exactly what I'm saying. Sure, it's a touchy yeah. subject. I don't want to offend any people of color. You think it's just people of color? Uh, no, not just. You think he's certainly not. He's but that thing, yeah. I think they're going to try to be like, all right, it's time for equality. Let's go ahead and just give everybody money. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, well, dude, I, 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 was, I was in the... Uh, I, I, know, no, I, know I, shouldn't, I shouldn't try to... I know what you're saying. He's, I, mean, I don't know what I'm saying. No, he's... he's I'm so dumb, dude. He's so playing sorry, to his base. I know what you're saying. He's playing to his base. Yeah. And he's going to start trying to do some like... Like, yo... Wouldn't this be cool? Let's go. Also, don't worry about Israel. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's fucking dude. You it's, like Israel. Who, me? Yeah. I, I wish they would all just... Are you anti-Semitic or something? You think, I know, dude. No, dude, apparently there, <laughs> I, there's some uh, Jewish little, people I respect. Well, catch 20 Jew. <laughs> <laughs> but no, dude, The uh, I, I was sitting there with um, Brittany's mom. We're going to the airport. And she got a robocall that was like from like, I don't know, some like checklist of Lockean dude. Being like, oh, um, you you identified as a uh, person of color, and she's like, yes. He was like, what do you think about the vaccine? Do you have access to it? And she's like, yeah, you know, blah, blah blah. He's like, do you think that schools should require children to all get vaccinated? And if not, they cannot go to school. And I'm in the back, like, what the fuck is this? And like, yeah. do you agree? One to five, do you agree that? Uh, everybody should get it under 12 years old and that it is very safe and that, that you should get it every year as opposed to... And I'm sitting there being like, what fucking kind of market research? What kind of... And then and then he would stop at between every like four like super creepy dystopian questions. He would stop and be like, uh, do you agree that it is uh, people of color are disadvantaged? And minor? <laughs> Okay, so should children be forced to get the vaccine in order to play the sports? And I'd be sitting there like, dude, this is fucking crazy. I it's like, like it. I think the narrative they got going right now is like... Don't let the man tell you you can't get the vaccine. You yeah, fucking... yeah, yeah. So they're, they're, yeah, they're playing to this whole thing of like, be a revolutionary and step up. I might get it. I'm addicted to it, dude. The vax? Yeah, hey, I've gotten it. Like, I, I've been tracks. very closeted about it. I've been very closeted about it. I've gotten all of them. I'm thinking about getting it. I've gotten all of them. But you know why I haven't gotten it yet? It's because I'm lazy. Yeah, I haven't That's gotten really it because it. I'm genuinely... I don't take fucking Advil. I don't take Tylenol or Advil. So they're like, here, take this. Yeah. I'm like, I'll wait. I'll wait for it. I also don't yeah. want to jump the line, bro. You know, I want to make sure everyone who's more vulnerable, vulnerable yeah. than me can get it. So I'm going to wait another 65 years, probably. Yeah. And then I'll, you know, maybe Consider then. it. Yeah. I mean, there's they're now talking about what I got from that robocall. They're going to try to like do a two for one flu COVID shot. And they're going to start trying to give it out to people once a year. So that's that's what I got from the thing. But. <laughs> I think they're also trying to really pump up kids to get it, too. They're That'd like, be sick if that's how America collapsed. That? If the vaccine ended up just wiping everyone out in like a year. It's possible. What a catastrophic failure of an empire. Yeah, that would stink. Dude. That'd be pretty sick. Just be like Jonestown, yeah. except the whole country. Just with the vax. Just everyone just laying down dead, and then just patriots emerge. Oh. Patriots and black dudes emerge. True, dude. Well, that's the other thing, too. A lot of the stuff, <laughs> a lot of the stuff I read is like... They talk about like they call it vaccine hesitation. Well, apparently, too, I, I think they also now they include anti vaxxer as people who are against mandated vaccines. If that makes sense, so like, well, that's an anti vaxxer. It's like, eh, I got shots. I just when people are like, hey, here's a new one, take it now. I'm like, eh, yeah, hold on. Let me go. Hold up. I, I just believe in science. I'm like, let's let the scientific process on play yeah. in its fullest. I want to do more of a meta analysis on everyone who gets it first. But I'm, you know, again, I just fucking love science, dude. I love science too. Love YouTube, it. don't deplatform us. True. We love science, dude. I'm getting it. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. All right, just yeah. give me a minute. Jesus. Will they shoot it in my thigh, or does it have to be the arm? Because my veins, know. my veins are already, dude. They're fucking. What's that word? When someone's veiny. Uh, vascular. Vascular. Yeah, look at that. Come on, dude. Damn. You know that's bro. all I cared about when I was in fifth grade. 
All I cared about were pubes. I needed pubes. And veins I saw older were so kids who nice had fucking you veins. Had veins. I didn't have veins. Like I got one on my hand and I was like, yeah. Dude, that's dude. what I'm I remember just being like, oh, oh, oh. I went home and opened chips. I, was like, oh. I remember what, yeah, I remember when this <laughs> came, <laughs> this came in and yeah, I was like, big one. woo, that's fuck yeah, one. dude. Just fuck, I would just chill my pubes and my fucking veins and just be like, what the fuck is yeah, up, it's dude? gonna stop me. Can't come yet, but that's coming. And Fauci came. You're like, motherfucker, fuck you, dude. dude. How dare you? We're not me. taking the vax. We're back, <laughs> dude. Fuck YouTube. <laughs> I got too many veins. Yeah, I don't know. Again, I think people should do what they want. I, again, I'm I'm right now battling addiction to the vaccine. I bet it's all right to take. Most people are if fine. If I had to guess, most people are fine. There, yes. Hoss has been sending me some research. I don't trust his research. It's it's based off the CDC. And it's, it's nothing crazy. It's just the unexplained deaths kind of jump significantly, um, you know, but yeah, well, from was 500 to 3600. What's interesting is right now my mom, dad, and sister all have colds. Really? And then I think my dad did like a doctor over the phone thing. Yeah. And then the doctor was like, no, you guys just have colds. You're fine. I was like, dude, three months ago, they would have been like, you have COVID. Yeah, definitely. Dude. Get out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I think we're, we're coming out of it, but I, they want to hit that 70% mark. So they're going to start vaccinating the chair in. And once they hit that 70% mark, then it's kind of like, all right, we'll just start selling this shit every year. It'll be like the flu shot. In two years, it'll be like, you know, you don't get the flu shot and nobody gives a fuck. Yeah. It'll be like that in a couple of years, man. But, you know, for now, the funny part is the masks. Like, people don't know what to do masks with themselves. Masks is tough. People don't know what to do with themselves. I, I feel, I still feel a little like I should be wearing a mask. Outside, you don't have to. I know. Oh, of course, outside. I Oh, within Rarely the place. that. But if I walk in somewhere, I'm like, I have to wear this. this well, is... I just I just launched a pretty decent experiment in it. I was at a wedding of about 200 people dancing my ass off, dude. Yeah. So stay tuned. See if you get it. I think I'm fine. Yeah, man. I was just I think I'm fine. around about True. Uh, <laughs> every weekend I'm around 500 people and then I get on airplanes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I go probably to, get vaxxed. I go to the for playground. The people, for the people. Well, this is what they're saying. No, you got vaxxed, you fucking young hippie. Yeah, I knew you, you did, you fucking you traitor. Guys, what about you, Gardini? Guard dog holding Never. strong, dude. <laughs> Bro, I wish I didn't know. It fucked me up. You Go get the vaccine, yo. What happened to you? Bro, I got like, like right after I got it, it like fucked me up for like two days. I was so sore and I couldn't eat. I had a headache. It was fucked up. Are you able to reproduce? That's I got that bullet time. Bro, probably not. <laughs> Gardini's taking shots at you. You might have to whoop Gard actually Gardini a whale on you. He's a bro, both, both wrestlers. Up, bro. Wow, you guys are both wrestlers. Yeah. You guys, should, what are we doing? We took the mic from Gardini. What the hell are we doing? We're a team. We don't fight. True. Oh, you guys true, are road you know, dog and badass. <laughs> the, yeah. the new age outlaws. Hell yeah. You guys, you would never wrestle for us for our amusement. As friends, <laughs> as friends, <laughs> winner, winner gets the ball. Of time. <laughs> right now, the rating, defending, bolo tie. Oh my god! Please wrestle for the bolo tie. I'll wrestle for the bolo tie. Oh, Gardini, the gauntlet's thrown down. I guess I'm forced to wrestle. I don't no, know. you don't have to wrestle. <laughs> I would be bummed if somebody bullied me into wrestling. I'm not. Gonna. Oh man. <laughs> If this episode ended with them both red faced and angry at each other, like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> just a ripped button down. <laughs> the bolo tie gets split and the horse oh, goes flying. If oh, the bolo tie got split, that'd be. That'd be catastrophic. Be, it'd be biblical. You'd be personally responsible to fly yes. out to Chicago and secure two new bolo ties, dude. Is that where you got it? Chicago? Yeah, Col Is that what you said? Col Colorado. Colorado. Excuse me, Colorado. I could have that arranged. For sure. I would feel terrible if a bolo tie got ripped in a, in a tussle. Oh, fuck. <laughs> in a tussle. That's how all bolo ties end, dude. There's a friendly just rooting, tussle. Tooting, yeah, tussle. People are rooting, tooting. They get their bolo ripped. And they're just like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> I fucking wore that to my grandma's. <laughs> what the fuck? So your grandmom's feeling naked as hell. Like, damn, I got my bolo on. I feel like I'm underdressed for the occasion. Yeah, I feel like a fucking idiot. Yo, I got <laughs> torched by the sun twice in the last dude, two weeks. Dude, you got sunburned as hell. I, got, I went to Tampa. Tamper way, that'll get Tamper you. way, I went out swimming. Swimming, yeah. swimming, 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 swimming. Where are you swimming at? I go swimming, dude. I go to In hotel pools oh. and I swim by myself. Nice, dude. And a lot of times I walk out and there's already a family out there and I turn around. It's a public pool. I know, but you can't swim with kids in the pool. In a hotel pool. Yeah, I hear it. No, I hear you. Just I'd a, rather go dance sober at a BIPOC wedding. 100%. And just, just like and go sit in a pool. Slowly dip in a pool. <laughs> sticking out, just looking at kids. Hey, guys. Yeah, true. Uh, so I went out to the pool, swam a little, didn't yeah. get didn't get any sun. Yeah. And I was like, 
I got this, no problem. So the next day, I was like, I'm gonna lay out for a minute. Oh, you got, dry you off. got, you got. Well, I swam, confident. and I was like, I'm not gonna. I don't want these wet shorts coming up to my room. Sure. So I laid out to let the sun dry them, and I got devastated by the sun. Damn, absolutely. You still look tan as fuck right well, now. Well, this was this was from. I went to the Minnesota Twins Oakland Athletics baseball yeah. match, and uh, didn't wear a hat. I thought I could go. Should have worn a sombrero. Sit or something, down dude. there. <laughs> no, that would have been like a bucket. I I did realize this. Watching baseball with white people, not that fun. Yeah. You go to like a Phillies game or a Yankees game, there's just white people. They just don't shut the fuck up. Yeah. They're just they, a little chatter, a little chatter here. Yeah. They like it. That's part of the game. Yeah. It's, it's for like Jewish dudes and autistic dudes to go sit there and like yell. Hey, you yeah, that's all they yell. Yeah. Hey, then, come on now. Another 34, they'll rally back here. The Twins game, I was sitting next to a bunch of Dominicans. Nice. It ruled. What were they up to? Uh, they just would yell, Platano Power at every Dominican player. They would yell, Hell yeah. Platano Power. What's that mean? Uh, I think banana power. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Plantain power. And uh, every Dominican player loved it. Hell yeah. They would look up at him and be like, yo, hell Have yeah. you ever been to Dominican Republic? I have. Pretty tight. It is tight. But I was at, I was at a resort. Same. Chilling. I told you, I stepped off the resort for like maybe three seconds. got approached by dudes on dirt bikes instantaneously. <laughs> They were like, do you want to ride? And I was like, no. And I just yeah. like went back into the thing. Like, that was so fast. Yeah, outside, if you Jamaica, go outside of the resort. Jamaica was the same way. Was it really? This dude swinging by every time. Dude, if you go yeah. out, I think, like, there's so much trash. If you go outside of the resort and, like, go around the Dominican Republic, it's just, like, empty two liters and Cheeto wrappers. Like, just <laughs> fucking piled. For, like, it's a whole road. It's just fucking, like, <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. It's punting in a power. It's punting in a power, dude. Yeah, they the guy was yelling it every, and we were sitting right behind the twins' dugout, so they kept throwing balls to everybody. It was mm-hmm. great. That's fucking what sick. a fun time, dude. That's Going awesome. to a ball game rules. Yeah, I haven't been to one. I've never made a full one. I always kind oh, of halfway fun. through. Yeah, but if you're not boozing, start getting itchy. Got to drink a couple beers, yeah. or if you got high, was, that'd be that's fun. The thing, I was hammered. Oh, I got stoned. Getting yeah. stoned at a baseball game and being in those seats rules. That, yeah. The problem I got hammered at the last one I was at. I had to get the fuck out of there. Yeah. But I went to one stone when I was a youngster and sat in like the highest up seats when the Citizens Bank Park, where I think it was first uh, constructed. I remember just being like, "Whoa, yeah, that's, that's cool. cool." That was it's tough. a tough it's a tough date for a bay. It seems like yeah, a good idea, cool. and then you're wow. in the third inning and you've been there for three hours. They like the tailgating. Like, yeah, they like the tailgating. Damn. The tailgating's yeah. fun. If you do the tailgating and then you go for like two innings and leave, great day. Every year, I force a woman to go to a Notre Dame game with me. That's awesome. And they that's the gauntlet. Hate that's it. the gauntlet. Dude. They can't survive, especially because I'm. Definitely blacked out. That was usually Adderall so and blacked out, just like <laughs> trying to watch so you're the game. Mission. You're on a mission, dude. <laughs> For some reason, dude, I was yeah. so fucked up. And we did the Notre Dame game. I was so fucked up. I don't. I barely remember. I couldn't tell who, like, what the fuck was going on. Yeah. But there was an older couple that kept telling me and Brittany we could stay at their house. Like they kept being like, "Yeah, I need to yeah, come out and stay with us. We got plenty Whoa. of room." I remember being like, "Are these guys trying to fuck us?" <laughs> what the fuck i remember just sitting next to this couple who kept throwing it out there like come stay with us and i was like like pretty we gotta get fucking it'd be awesome dude. if you were spazzed on them we're not gonna fuck you gonna fuck you, you old dude. fucks <laughs> what the fuck? they were like you know we got plenty of room if you guys want to chill yeah. it was weird man my boy o'leary dude oh, were you there for that no i don't think you were there for that one what we drove the whole way out you remember o'leary yeah i know o'leary yeah, yeah. we got out there just talked to him like a he week gets ago. into the stadium Snuck in a beer, cracks it open before kickoff. He got it kicked out. Oh. <laughs> it was like a ten-hour drive. Damn, dude. Yeah, O'Leary's a man. O'Leary is a man. That beer was worth it, dude. Getting that pass. It was like a was Bud Light it. Lime. Oh. <laughs> it was like a warm Bud Light Lime. Fuck. Yeah, worth it. Definitely not worth it. Saved. And it. he was with his lady. Saved it. Oh. His lady. They got ejected. You gotta hear that fucking. That's my number one nightmare of like flying oh. with weed somewhere else. Just ruining a trip over like four vape pens. I wanted to get high. <laughs> I put him in with my regular. Room. I don't think they give it. Well, I can have, I'm allowed to have it in Pennsylvania, I'm a medical card. And then I'm allowed to have it in Chicago because everyone can have it in Chicago. Yeah, but in the air. You just don't bust. You, that's True. the one. You just don't vape in the bathroom. It's got to be so hard. It's tempting, but. It's got to be so hard not to vape. I don't, have a, I don't really have a desire to be stoned on a plane. I wonder if you hit it and then blew it into the toilet and pressed flush possible you know but if anyone smells dude they're fried <laughs> I, i've gone through it you can eat the gummies. land the plane <laughs> they'd be pissed yeah they could land the plane they would probably kind of be like just because yeah. no one wants it they're like just fucking don't if i started especially stewardesses 
That's one of my, I do want to do that. I think that's on my bucket list. When I get older, I want to just ground one plane. Just light up a cigar and just sit there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the? See what happens? They do it, dude. dude. That's the, it Louis, the Louis joke. What? You can just yell down. Oh, my God. You can just sit on there and go down. <laughs> and they have to land it. <laughs> and they're like, why? Like, I want to go down. <laughs> down. I ran into him last night. Did you really? And I was wearing his God. I was wearing his uniform. Black tee, white je- jeans and black tee? Yes. Were you guys dressed the same? Yes. He walked in wearing it and I was just like, fuck. fuck. And then he sat right next to me. We looked exactly the same. <laughs> yeah. Did you tell him you were dressed like him or did you just let it ride? I just let it ride. I was waiting for somebody in the room to be like. Do you guys, are you guys the same or something? Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, always. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> kind of. What are you guys, like the same person? You guys wouldn't understand what it's like, dude. <laughs> you were just like coming up a stuff. You're like chogging up a subway eating yeah. pizza just being like. Oh, I think about it every time. Do you really? I, see, I walk, to go to the cellar, you walk past That's that spot. exact, you walk past. The subway he jogs up, mm-hmm. and then the pizza place. Yeah. Um, every time I'm like, I should get a slice and stand tempt- there, take a bite, throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then go in and bomb with the same two jokes I've been doing at the cellar. How tempting would it be? It's tempting. The cellar's been tough, dude. Really? Yeah. What's it's been, because it's all hot babies. Really? Girl, it's just, for some it's reason, it's crowd, just yeah. hot chicks going yeah. to these shows. Like, for all sure. just hot chicks. Yeah, well. And then I go up with my fucking pedophile and Special Olympics jokes. <laughs> the hell is wrong with that? <laughs> What's wrong with that? You think what are they doing? Funny? People don't like me. What? Yeah, they're sick of it. Nah, dude. So we've had enough. They want to hear about sexual intercourse. That's the type of jokes they like. Tell them. I don't have many sexual intercourse jokes anymore. Tell them about it, dude. Tell them what you do. I talk about talk you. about that lineman fucking you in the ass. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I talk about you howling when you jizz sometimes. There you go. There That's you my go. best joke. It gets hot chicks pumped sex. up, dude. Yeah. So they just want to hear about the pussy? They love hearing about pussy. They don't hear about the pussy. I go up, you know, I'm talking about <laughs> cancer and shit. <laughs> People are upset. That I, all you have to talk about is cum, and the whole place is like, oh, oh. oh. Dude. Yeah. Start. Just jerk off. I got to work on it. Jizz on stage. I got to work on my sex material. True. That, that's, they, all, they just want the sex stuff? They want the sex stuff. Give it to them. Or you got to be a person of color. They love it. Pretend, well, this, White chicks from New York? Yeah. They only want to hear BIPOC speak Just be about. woke. Just be go over there and be woke as fuck. <laughs> Just be woke as hell, dude. It's got to make, oh my God. I said, I'm with Palestine. How about y'all? True. How about we give it up for Palestine? I could get an easy, giant applause for, yeah. how about we give it up for Palestine right now? Yeah, man. Give it up for Hamas, y'all. Yeah, oh. dude. <laughs> yeah. Give it up for Boko Haram or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I, uh, I've been following that a little bit. In terms of Israel and Palestine. What, what have you discovered? I don't know. I mean, it's just they fight each other and uh, Israel hit, they hit, you know, Israel has this like defense, like an iron shield. Yeah. So they get the missiles. Iron so, dome. Yeah, the iron dome. I think it was built in Arkansas. Was it really? Yeah. Hilarious. I think it was manufactured in. The iron dome. Yes. So yeah, they get like, when they get missile, they don't get hit that bad. And then they'll counter strike and just kill like <laughs> 20 kids <laughs> and be like, well, we told them to get out. They hit the fucking press building. Which that was like, whoa. Yeah. That's pretty nuts. Yeah. Taking out a newspaper. Bill. Like, we told journalists to leave or we would fire. Like, yeah. it's their job to not. And then I did see that where they put out like a statement of why we did it. They, they said, like tweeted it out. They were like, Hamas is in that building too. They're in there. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Fuck, who tweeted that? They were like, it'd be funny if Al Qaeda would have put this out after 9 11. Like, well, <laughs> I know there were some people in there, <laughs> but this is why we did it. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing sucks, dude. It's like, it seems to stop leading credence to like being uh, a whole idea of being like, I'm this type of person and blah, 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 blah. It's like, you might have to all give it up, man. Might have to yeah. all give it up. All Every single one of us, dude. I went into a rabbit hole off of this uh, Israel-Palestine thing, but not following that. I started following stampedes at religious ceremonies. Nice. <laughs> nice. Israel. I didn't know the Jews got down like that, too. Oh, yeah, dude. I always thought it was Muslim stampedes. No, they stampede hard the too. The Jews will stampede. They get think, spooked at the watering hole. Yeah, the, what do the Muslim? The Muslims spin around the thing. They both do. They, they both, both do the circle the dance. They love. Well, what, Muslims do the thing in Mecca. You got to circle it five times. Do, what is it, like Muslims go clockwise and Jews go counterclockwise? Probably. And they fucking they clash fuck and you, stampede. Dude, fuck you, dude. Yeah, it's, they, a wall, it's like the wall of death, dude, at a mosh pit. It really is. They just mosh around the fucking wailing wall. I saw a video. <laughs> there was a video recently of a uh, bleacher collapse, packed to the brim with Jews dancing. They're dancing on the bleachers. Yeah. What were they celebrating? Like, here we come to get you. 
<laughs> just fucking, <laughs> dude. That's a sick song, dude. Halftime. And they fucking where where were they though? Uh, I, th- I think in Israel. I don't know. So just getting pumped up. They were doing the back and forth. Yes. Yeah. Like just a, like a basketball team pregame. Getting ready. True. And then it just. Damn. It's, it's crazy. Yeah, and, and then they, I looked they up. They sent like five missiles over to I the Gaza Strip yeah, in like, response. <laughs> fuck! Who the fuck loosened these I think balls? two people died <laughs> really? in that one. Then I watched one, I think it was two years ago. 44 died in a stampede at this one thing. Why were they stampeded? I have no He's idea. Uh, another up. bleacher collapse. What? Yes. And then a Stay bunch of people of tried to, yeah, get off the damn bleachers. Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? Don't fuck's going on on the bleachers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're getting fired up, man. It's a... Uh, it's a fucking nightmare, dude. Well, you guys, you guys watching the collapse? They just stomp. They stomp hard, dude. It was a synagogue. Yeah, they stomp. It was a synagogue with bleachers. Mm-hmm. Damn, like a mega synagogue. <laughs> yeah, it says it was a synagogue in the West Bank, and two hundred people got injured. Like the whole thing just collapsed. Yeah, two oh. people died. Uh, it says that the building wasn't like completely finished. And they they were just like packing the gills, you know. What, what, is the synagogue still in existence to this Do you, day? You say packing the gills to the gills. Packed to the gills. Oh, uh, I wasn't sure if you thought it was packing the gills. No. All right, sorry. I didn't mean to be a cunt there. You're a cunt. Oh, that's a little cunt. You're just quality control. Did you just say that? <laughs> Did you not know that One this thing is about how me, I'm a stickler for grammar. <laughs> I just love grammar. <laughs> You're just making sure that you know people aren't fucking up. Yeah, that's all you're running. Because I can understand. Because every once in a while, there's a what's it? Would I say colloquialism? Yeah. The, would that be like a saying? Colloquialism, yeah. Or is that just a localized saying? It's like a local saying. It's good for me to correct someone and then not know what the fuck I'm talking about either. But yeah, we're all like it. a saying. You can get wrong like that. Sure. Like packing the gills. Oh yeah. You know. Done it myself. Because it makes sense in your head. You're like shoving things in gills. <laughs> <laughs> You know, packed to the gills. So they were at this. They're at the Megagog, getting fired yeah. up. Jew Olstein was up there. <laughs> <laughs> Jew Olstein. Six hundred people were in the synagogue. Whew. Damn. When was this? You should see it. The, the synagogue's small. Was this during COVID? It was. No, it's just like it was three, three days, days ago. ago. Yeah. That's what I'm more pissed about. Yeah, no what the fuck, man? The CDC is not totally clear yet on indoor stuff. Were they all vaccinated? Does anyone know that? Doubt it. I'm really worried about Israel right now and Palestine. <laughs> the fact that they're gathering like that without being properly vaccinated in close quarters. Were they all six feet apart at least? No way. No, what the no way. fuck? Oh, dude. 600 of them. And that the building wasn't even the, being built yet. The capacity Packed of that the building gills, must man. have been 80. In the what? Dude, I knew it was bad over there, but I didn't know it was that bad. A little boy died too. Ah, uh, yeah. well, that not happens. That funny that's, anymore. That happens all it looks the time. like they fell in like a wave. <laughs> like they went down, and they were like, Whoa, you know. Damn. Yeah, well, I don't think it's funny. One it's not funny. Died, it's just what one happened. One little boy got crushed. One boy got crushed in the megagog. <laughs> Fuck, that sucks. Oh, man. another one. The other one. It came 16 days after so uh, an ultra orthodox church. Uh, like it got like crushed, and 45 people died there. Hey, man. Just right after that? Before. Oh, fuck. Two oh, weeks man. before. What? Who's making their seating? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Yeah, it's just... We should probably pause. <laughs> no. Uh, we can watch. At least 200 people were killed. Oh, and then it turns into a stampede. There's, there's the back. Oh, I never saw the back. Oh no! This is this is the uh, the boys were on the bleach. Okay, I didn't show the collapse in the one. Yeah, the bleachers went down, dude. Yeah, dude, I was always weary of that. Rabbi was probably getting it too. Everyone's oh, like, oh, he was, he was like, it. yup, and looked back. Was like, shit, shit I went too Fuck. hard. I mean, dude, went too hard. Got the boys rocking. What do you think happens? What do you think happened as a result? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not. We're not supposed to make jokes, <laughs> but I think there's probably a collective like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's only funny because I mean, it's not be, funny at all. It's not funny at all. I'm saying just from, like the Trump flag from a legal perspective. The Trump flag behind there is it like it's not funny. It's like in fact it's so funny <laughs> that it's not funny. <laughs> There's a lot of things like that. I'm talking about from that's got to be a legal nightmare, dude. 
Yeah. A synagogue collapsing. Oh my god. Can you imagine that case in court? Oh my god. Fucking everyone's getting a piece of everyone's ass, dude. <laughs> <laughs> People like yeah. I, I don't even know what's occurring right now. Everybody, it's like, well, that guy braces. elbowed me as he fell. I think gone. everybody in Israel tomorrow is gonna be in neck braces. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, were you there? It's like, yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be on UBI after that. The whole country. <laughs> That's not funny. That's not funny at all, dude. But I love that we, now that Palestine and Israel are at war and the left supports Palestine, we can be anti-Semitic again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, it's funny too. Like, it, it's just it's just a group of people you can make fun of, like any other group of people. But they were off the table for a while. They were off the table because it all depends on everything else. I made fun of the, I made fun. I said the Italians are pigs. I said they eat like pigs. Yeah. Then the Jews fell off the bleachers, and it just eh. here's there's always a, something. There's an funny interesting about one it. where something like with Tony Hinchcliffe happens. Yes. And he says that word, that fucking unspeakable Piece thing, that, that destroyer of all worlds. That word. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's always a comment of like, well, what if it was black people that he said it about? Yeah. What if it was the N word? Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, well, what if it was Mick? Yeah. What if it was WAP? Yeah. If you want to do that game. Yeah, of course. Because then they have to be like, well, that's different. That's not as bad. And it's like, ooh, oh, your so rules, they, not mine. So they vary. So they do vary, perhaps. They obviously do, dude. Yeah. It's, yeah. This is general consensus stuff. They obviously do. Yeah. It's like, you know. Yeah, I mean, though the pro this, the problem is, is when there's there's people who genuinely like genuinely are like, I fucking hate this group of people, <laughs> and it's like that stinks, but it ruins it for everybody else. Just trying to have a fun Josh on everyone. We were, I was talking to your brother William, yeah, about dudes saying the N word, yeah, stand up, and I was like, you have no idea how often that happens. They just rip it of like a dude coming on stage at an open mic and being like. Sup, everybody, and then hitting the N-word and just he, disappearing. Open micers, go for open it, dude. Micers. Just the guy showing up, being like, all right, I'm going to fast forward. My career's over right now. Yep. On my first mic, dude, the N-word. They fly too close to the sun too soon. Dude. Right away. I have a couple dudes have done it. And it's so funny. Dude, it's, that it's so – right, obviously, the word's not funny. It's sure. disgusting. But what is funny is a guy try, trying to get away with it. Also, it's just, so funny to watch at a show. Also, just being like, because you know, when someone's doing stand up for the first time or so, they've been thinking about it for months. Oh. So they're like, oh my God, this is going to change. I well crafted. I'm about to change the fucking game. I'm going to go ahead and say it. But like, the way I'm doing it's just different, it's just dude. It's different. Just dude. better. And then they go, and everyone's like, whoa, what the fuck? <laughs> they never show up ever again. Yeah, it happens a decent amount. Yeah. We Hap used to get hit with truckers. I think I told you. You told me about this? Dude, because in Harrisburg, there's like, a bunch of just truckers. It's always truckers passing yeah. through. And uh, yeah, dudes would just swing by and be like, I think I'll give this open mic thing a shot. Just <laughs> crush an N word. <laughs> <It's fucking laughs> get back in their truck. Just pull off. hit a different mic. <laughs> 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 They're just lone rangers, just hitting different mics oh with the N words. Oh, God, dude. <laughs> Maybe this will work down in Sioux City over there. Yeah, I'm a, yeah. Yeah, it's very funny. It's funny watching dudes instantly implode. They're like, all right, here we go. Let's press it. Let's press the button. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it doesn't right. feel good. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, man. Yeah. My fucking, my ex-doctor. Yeah, you told me about this. Yeah, man. It's wonderful. He fell. He was like, I'm going to go. I'm going to try a mic. He it's picked. Like, yeah, he did one set. He already yeah. did a set. And the guy was oh, like, does anyone yeah. want to go back up? It's like, where you have more time? He goes. He did the same. He did two sets in one night? No, what he did. Yeah, he did two sets in one night. First oh. set he did was like, yeah. And he started going, I knew I should have done that N-word shit. And he goes up, he goes, I got something. Goes up, <laughs> rips. And literally, people are going, the late Mike Brooks, RIP, goes, dude, sit out, stop it. Oh, people were like, nice. boo. People were like, we're booing him. And he was like, and then it's like got off stage and stormed out. And then it fucking came back to bite him. And oh. he also got in some other trouble for some other shit. But yeah. The guy hates us. He it came to his attention that we were talking about it on our podcast. Was that the guy who had his own thing? Yeah, he had a, yeah he had a, he had a little show. <laughs> and he was that. like, "Fuck those guys!" Because the person on the show asked him about it, and he was like, "That was Stoner Dads. That no, guy that. walked so you guys could run, dude. True. That show, the fish fish lens, <laughs> where they're just getting high talking. <laughs> dude, that was just Stoner Dads. <laughs> that was the prequel. That was proto Stoner Dads. <laughs> dude, yeah, we bullied him. We fucking. What's wrong with saying it? I didn't say it. <laughs> It was him being like, I just don't lie anymore. And the one intern was like, did you say the N-word at an open mic in Philadelphia? And he goes, what? No. Who 
the hell said that? If I did, <laughs> it, that, I see what they're saying. That would have been, but I didn't say that. And you just watch this guy for it's funny. That's exactly minutes. how I responded. My agent when she called and was like, "Did you say?" <laughs> I was yeah. like, "No, I wouldn't say that." What? And she was like, "Here's a clip." I was like, "All right, I said." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so funny if you watch that, knowing the situation. The rest of the clip is the guy being like sitting on a couch, stoned to the bone, just being like, <laughs> "Fuck, fuck, <laughs> my fucking cool weed show just got." I just got blasted for saying the N word. <laughs> I just sit there, just going. You can see it is in like deep space nine. It's like, what the fuck? I, I was genuinely like feeling oh, like fuck. Ah, watching it being like, that must be the worst fucking feeling. Oh, fuck, dude. It's I, I know if you don't if you don't know, you can't know. But open micers, if you go to an open mic and you see a random, it's usually just a disheveled 40 to 50 year old man yeah. coming on stage being like, hey, everybody. <laughs> and yep. Just fucking. In. Oh yeah! <laughs> what was that? Do you guys do sense? Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, you can spot them. They, they oh, they're, they're there. Them. They're there. They're kind of in the corner doing their own it's thing. It's own creature. Yeah, there's a is. lot of creatures at an open mic, and that's a very distinct it's creature. A scorpion of open mics. <laughs> they're just ready. You find them on the rocks. <laughs> well, they glow. <laughs> there's also the, the black nerd. Oh yeah, very prevalent. Oh yeah. What else is there? There's white autists throughout. That's a lot. A lot of white autists. Lesbians, former burlesque dancers, a oh, lot of that. Oh, yeah. A lot of burlesque turned. Yeah, they figured they'd get into that. I'm trying to think what else is. I mean, there's like, you know, obviously there's all. There's also of, obviously alpha ballers that everybody hates because yeah, they're mis- misunderstood. <laughs> they're just misunderstood, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's that. There's there's all white guys. There's like, uh, there's even some like. A lot of musicians. A lot of dudes try that to do yeah. did music first, do stand up. Yeah. yeah, usually not the best. But the most dangerous of all is the roaming occasional N word. Scorpion, dude. The scorpion. <laughs> the scorpions out there. The rare. <laughs> and there's like you know you look at like, groups and be like, all right, you know that guy's one of those guys, and you see one of those dudes, and you go, that guy's rolling solo. That guy's yeah, yeah. for for life, dude. Yes, it's rolling solo for life, trying to find friends. Looking in all the wrong places. I know, dude. Using Saying all, all the, the wrong, wrong things, dude. Wrong bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, let's. Uh, you got a big. You got a big announcement. About to get into it, dude. Matt's got his copy book. Come on, baby. Before Damn. the flood. That's from the book. Before the flood. So that's where that's where my research started, and it branched into no into some no spoilers territory. But Matt's got a research project for historical Patreon. for the Patreon. Yeah. So join us there. I would say also, historical, philosophical, you know, it's like philosophic, historical. It's, it's like a lot of different stuff. <laughs> <laughs> historical, philosophical. Sounds like it could be gibberish, but we'll find I out. I was worried. <laughs> no, I was, I was, I had to do a couple uh, edits because I was like, the more gibberish, the better, to be honest. This will be wild. And it's going to be two parter. So I don't know if I'll be able to fit everything in one. Um, I will be the 21st and 22nd this weekend. So this Friday and Saturday in Springfield, Missouri. The 27th, 28th, and 29th, we will be at McGooby's Joke House in Baltimore, Maryland. Another big project going yes. on the weekend, too. Oh, yeah, big project. We might tour some battlefields. We're not sure yet. The 11th and 12th, ooh, the 11th and 12th of June, I'll be at Governor's in Long Island. Nice. Then 17th, 18th, 19th, Richmond, Virginia. 24th, 25th, and 26th of June, Cleveland, Ohio. Ooh. And then maybe uh, we're thinking about a little Austin trip in July. I'm not sure. That has nothing to do with Rogan, by the way. Yeah. It does, oh, dude, it does not. Talk about that. Yeah. That was so funny last week to have to do. Like, yeah. To not be able to talk about it. It was fun. No yeah. rogies. Yeah, dude. But um, it's what, he'll probably, you know, whatever. We'll see. He'll probably, he'll probably be keeping on. He probably has your location pinged. Yes. You know, he knows where you He's are. He's going to listen to the cast. Help. Help. Share your location with him. I might DM him and be like, help. Sure. Get his number and just share your location just so he knows where you're at at all times. Yeah. Like, just Check in on me. Keep a watch on me, dude. Um, thank you for listening. <laughs> Join us on the Patreon yeah, for Matthew's presentation. Yep.